the sea breeze doesn't really kick off any thunderstorms. It's way too dry. And that dry air really allowed our temperatures to climb close to 90 or even exceeding that. That tends to happen under these conditions, especially before a cold front comes in. And this is a pretty strong front. If you thought it was cool this weekend, then yeah, it was. Just wait for Thursday morning, Friday morning. All of us will be feeling the chill thanks to that front and the cold air push and strong high pressure behind it. But for the time being, west winds become more northwest and north overnight. Maybe a couple patches of clouds with that front coming through. I think the cloud cover will be a little more noticeable during the course of the afternoon. We can see a little extra thickness with the cloud coverage, a little less sunshine, maybe enough moisture for a stray shower. Just not seeing a big push of moisture coming our way, so our rain coverage is going to be very, very minimal. Maybe a couple little sprinkles here and there, hardly registering in our rain forecast, but some numbers do show up mostly by Tuesday afternoon and evening. I'd say if you're around and south of Interstate 10, you have the better chance, but if you do even get any rain, it's just going to be a few drops, hardly anything measurable. That front goes all the way into the South Florida Peninsula. High pressure builds in from the Ohio Valley, and that directs that cold surge right upon us. So legitimate chill for all of us, and it's even going to be reflected and some daytime highs that may be more like late December or early January levels for a day or two. That high stays around before we get more of an east wind pattern setting up by the weekend that helps to modify the air. So yes, this time of year we can get those warm spells like today, but when a strong cold front comes in, our temperatures start to go down. Near average for tonight, mid 50 South Georgia, upper 50s to around 60 northern Florida. Highs will range from the mid 70s north to the low to mid 80s south, and the later the front goes through, the warmer you can be perhaps in sections of the Suwannee Valley. And those winds will be shifting around for boaters as well, primarily offshore, partly cloudy to maybe mostly cloudy by tomorrow afternoon. Wind speeds, however, not too strong, about five to 10 knots by then. Wednesday, back in the 70s, Thursday morning, we wake up to the lower 40s, mid 40s for some of us close to the coast. So the chill is on. It doesn't stick around all through the seven day forecast period. We will see temperatures climbing back by the weekend, but still a hint of seasonable temperatures with morning lows in the 50s and highs approaching 80 Saturday and Sunday.